Hi and welcome to Black Eye Studios. I'm your host Casey and today we're going to talk about AWS and networking. What we're mainly going to focus on is the AWS gateways, VPCs, and subnets. Then I'm going to show you again how to create an EC2 instance utilizing those newly created resources. So let's get started. All right, we're going to go ahead and click services here and we're going to click on VPC. Now VPC is virtual private cloud is what it stands for. It's going to be um, where we're going to basically set up everything that's going to tie to our systems. All right, we're going to go ahead and click internet gateway. Internet gateway is basically just a gateway to the internet. If you've ever done any type of um, networking before, you would have a gateway that connects you to everything else. This is basically that. So we're just going to give it a name here and we're going to call it YouTube Toots just to go along with everything else so we can identify it easily. All right, and we can see that it's set up there and it's in a detached state. We basically have to make a VPC to attach to it. So we've got the gateway. We now need to attach a virtual private cloud to it. So basically the virtual container for all of our systems. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click VPC here and we're gonna click Create VPC. Now we're gonna give it a name again, YouTube2, so we can keep track of everything that's connected to this. And then we're gonna do an IPv4 CIDR block. Now, if you don't know what this is, you can Google it. I'm not gonna go into a huge definition, but it's basically taking a subnet mask and making it into a simpler form so you can identify the block that you want to take here so we're just going to go with the default that it recommends so 10 0 0 slash 24 we're not going to do an ipv6 cider block i'd only recommend that if you actually need them i believe they do cost and then tenacity we're just going to leave at default we're going to click yes create creating it for us and there we go we've got our YouTube toots so we've got our VPC and we've got our gateway now we're gonna go into our subnet here and we're gonna create a subnet in that VPC I'm gonna go ahead and hit create subnet and I'm gonna name it YouTube toots like the last one now we can select VPC as YouTube because that's where we want to create it now we can see the CIDR block that we have in the VPC. Now we can assign a CIDR block inside this subnet, so a smaller one. So it can only be equal to or smaller than the current CIDR block. So what I'm gonna do here is just choose an availability zone and I'm gonna call, select uh, 28 for my CIDR block, which should give me 11 IPs. Okay, you can see there the available IPs. It's actually listed off to the side that we have 11 in that CIDR block. All right, now that we've got that done, we're gonna go ahead and do a security group. Now, when we do our security group, I'm basically gonna take the default web app server and I want to make one just like it off of the default. So I'm gonna select create security group. I'm going to give it the name of default app server and I'm going to give it the same group name and description and assign it to the YouTube Toots VPC. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now we're going to add a couple of custom rules here. I'm going to select SSH as my first rule. and I'm going to select the source of my IP address. Now again, these are in a CIDR block form that you have to put them in so that you can wildcard IPs that connections can come from. All right, we're gonna add a new custom rule here and we're gonna go with HTTPS. I'm gonna do 0, 0, 0, 24. Now what that will do is deny everything from this. This is just a placeholder until I get an Apache server on here. So I am just going to put in this that CIDR to block everything currently, but to put a placeholder that I can change later to allow it. I'm gonna do the same thing with HTTP. 
So I'm going to do it with port 80, the same exact thing. And then we're going to go and create a new EC2 instance. Now we've already done this before, so you guys should be familiar with it. We're going to go and click AWS Marketplace, going to do CentOS 7, going to select it. I'm going to go ahead and select a T2 micro. And I'm going to select now my networking. I'm going to select my VPC of YouTube Toots and select YouTube Toots and use the subnet settings, disable. I don't want to select a uh, public IP at this time. General purpose SSD. All right, we're just gonna move through this quickly. You've already seen it in the previous tutorial. If you haven't, you can always go back and watch that tutorial on how to create this. So I'm just finishing this up and it's launching the instance now. And there you have it. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please share, like, or comment on this video. Also, please comment on what you'd like to see from us next. You can keep up to date with our tutorials by either subscribing on YouTube, following us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or email us your comments and or questions.